It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview one of the business owners of Before the Score Sports Talk Podcast. How are you doing, Stephen? I'm doing good. How are you, Brandon? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how how you got started being a Sports Talk Podcast? So the way we got started was I actually had a school project to start a podcast and me and Pablo, who's the, the funny man on the podcast, we got we did one together and it came out pretty good. So we decided let's do this every week. So we got the equipment and uh, next thing you know, we started Before the Score. Can you talk about how you came up with the name Before the Score? So there was a lot of different names in consideration for the podcast. Our producer name is Zonak, so we thought about calling it Z's Basement, but uh, it didn't really roll off the tongue too well. So uh, Pablo ended up going with Before the Score, and we all liked how he put the four in there because there's four of us. So that's why we settled on that one. What are some of the topics that you cover in your podcast? So we try to cover everything. We cover football, baseball, basketball, hockey. We cover some wrestling, cover pop culture. So we're kind of a mix of everything when it comes down to it. Do you have any particular segments for your podcast? We do. We actually all made one particular segment for each other. So mine is Steve's shock of the week. So that would be like an underdog pick. Dan is Danny D's lock of the week. Pablo has the Pablo Power Player of the Week, and Andrew has the Dead Club of the Week, which is kind of where he picks a team that he thinks is going to lose, and uh, they're kind of dead in the water. Can you talk about how you come up with some of the topic ideas that you cover in your podcast? So we kind of just go off of what's kind of the breaking news of the day or the week, and then we kind of see what's happening that weekend, what's happening that week, and we make some predictions for that. So it's really more about timeliness than anything. What are some of the future topics that you'll cover in before the score? Well, we're definitely going to cover the rest of the football season because that's definitely a easy topic to cover. Super Bowl, everything with the coronavirus pandemic, NBA, uh, MLB free agency. We're going to have a big special with that. So that should be fun. Did you cover the NBA draft as it just wrapped up shortly? Uh, we haven't had an episode since the NBA draft, but we had one actually the day before, and that was pretty good. I, I correctly predicted the Knicks going OB Toppin, so that was cool. And I think we'll, this week we'll definitely have some more on the NBA draft and hopefully some more moves in free agency. What are some of the future plans for before the score? Just hope to keep growing, honestly, keep making connections, keep there's there's a lot of really cool people in the podcasting world, especially the sports podcasting, sports media world. So I really hope that we can just keep growing and meeting these cool people. What are some of your future plans and advice that you would give for future sports talk podcasts? Advice I would give to people starting out or people who are trying to grow is just keep keep making content. It doesn't matter who sees it. doesn't matter how many people see it because eventually someday enough people are going to see it where it's going to hit home with somebody. It may, may hit home with just one or two people, but as long as you're doing it and you're having fun, then that's what matters. That's great advice. Where can my listeners find Before the Score at on social media and podcast platforms? So is at B4 the number four the score and then same thing on apple podcast spotify soundcloud so we're pretty easy to find wherever you uh get your information from thank you again Stephen, for your interview and best of luck with before the score sports talk podcast thank you brandon i really appreciate it this was fun you can find brandon sports talk on facebook at brandon sports talk instagram at brandon sports talk twitter at talk underscore brandon And you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Stephen, from Before the Score, and have a great day. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. 
Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.